But you are looking live at some choppy waters outside the Corolla Light Resort in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. These waters doing more than just making waves in the state. They're rising water levels in North Carolina, costing some people their homes. Take a look. Water pulling a house into the ocean. This is the second home it's happened to as the combination of strong winds and high tides force this structure to leave shore. This is near Rodanthe, North Carolina, and it's one of a few towns on a sliver of land connecting to the state. Meteorologist Steve Fandaro from our Norfolk, Virginia station is at the beach monitoring those high tides. If you're ever curious about what climate change looks like or what sea level rise looks like, look no further than the Outer Banks, where a simple windy day or at least a couple days of a strong northeast wind builds in the water like this and builds in the high tide like this and causes issues for oceanfront properties, which will one day no longer be oceanfront properties and likely maybe be in the ocean itself. We're seeing water up here in Kitty Hawk come up underneath some of these homes as we go through high tide, make its way onto some of the roadways out here. But for the most part, the beach replenishment that goes on every five to seven years up here in Kitty Hawk or out here in Kitty Hawk is doing its job and is doing its job well. So life resumes as normal here in Kitty Hawk and traffic is flowing with no problems. Flooding isn't that bad. It's a hefty price to pay, but it's the price you pay to deal with a changing climate. From Kitty Hawk, I'm Steve and Darrell. Back to you. All right, Steve, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.